recognizing those who work tirelessly to create a better world and raise awareness of people in need. Each year, the Ruderman Family Foundation presents the Morton E. Ruderman Award for inclusion to someone who has made an exceptional contribution to the inclusion of people with disabilities. The award, which marks its 10th anniversary this year, was named after Mort Ruderman, the founder of the Ruderman Family Foundation, to honor his legacy. My father, Mort Ruderman, was born in Malden, Massachusetts in 1936. His father was a blue-collar immigrant, and his mother was born in Boston in 1903. As a young boy, he developed a high work ethic and deep connection with his community, qualities that stayed with him throughout his life. After acquiring a degree in electrical engineering from Northeastern University, Morton became a successful entrepreneur and businessman. He invested in Jewish education in the Boston area, where the foundation identified a gap for children with disabilities. Morton genuinely believed that everyone deserves a second chance in life. He believed in equal opportunities for all. It was this belief that prompted him to establish the Ruderman Family Foundation and work for change for the benefit of those in need. He treated everybody with a lot of respect. It didn't matter if you were the president of an important company or the janitor. From the start, the Ruderman Family Foundation was a voice in the community for advocating for the inclusion of people with disabilities. It was an area that needed leadership. I've been very lucky, and I've made a lot of money. So there's no reason to not give back. The recipients of the Inclusion Award epitomize the qualities of my father people who have a drive to make a more equal, inclusive society and are deeply connected to their cause. Since 2014, when we first presented the MER Award, its recipients have been remarkable individuals from all walks of life, distinguished by their outstanding achievements in disability inclusion. Here they are. Dr. Michael Stein, an international legal expert on disability rights, is credited with the drafting of the Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities. This human rights treaty adopted by the UN mandates that people with disabilities enjoy the same rights as everyone else. Ari Naaman, who founded and led the Autistic Self-Advocacy Network. Ari has encouraged self-advocacy for millions of people with disabilities worldwide. Former Senator Tom Harkin, a longtime advocate for people with disabilities who introduced and drafted the Americans with Disabilities Act. Marley Matlin, an actress who is deaf and won an Academy Award. Her long and celebrated career in Hollywood is a shining example of the value of including people with disabilities in our society. We deaf actors can work just like anybody else. Olympic gold medalist Michael Phelps advocates for mental health. He shared his struggle with his own mental health to help remove the stigma surrounding it. Michael established his own foundation for this purpose. Peter and Bobby Farrelly, they have pioneered advocacy for the inclusive and authentic representation of people with disabilities throughout the entertainment industry. Golden Globe Award winner Taraji P. Hansen, who received the award for her leadership in mental health advocacy and for combining her efforts toward disability inclusion with the struggle against other forms of discrimination. Kevin Love is a professional basketball player in the NBA, a mental health advocate, and the founder of the Kevin Love Fund. My team at the Kevin Love Fund is working with the Ruderman Family Foundation to support students struggling with mental health challenges. The MER Award recognized his outstanding contribution to reducing the stigma surrounding mental health. Selena Gomez was presented the MER Award for her dedication to raising mental health awareness and commitment to expanding access to mental health services and education for young people worldwide. I hope that you will join me and the Ruderman Family Foundation to change the narrative surrounding mental health. Eva Longoria has shown a long-time impassioned and personally inspired commitment to enriching the lives of people with disabilities. She has affected the lives of many individuals with intellectual disabilities, both by her actions and by her status as a public figure. For me, disability rights are human rights, and the voices of people with disabilities should be heard. We are extremely proud of all of the Morton E. Ruderman awardees who personify Mort's values and legacy. We look forward to the next decade and to honoring the people who will make our world a better place.